Uh, thank you, Mr. Ling. Uh, the question that I have for you is that of all of the characters that you have created, is there any one that you would have done differently now or the past few years? I heard the whole thing and so is there any one I and I wasn't sure that you would do differently now? That's a good question, Ben. No. <laughs> of Big Bang Theory asked you to come back for another episode, would you want to team up with Will Wheaton to get back at Sheldon? season of Chuck? There is one character above all heroes that I like more than your Marvel superheroes, and that is Fat Mama. Uh, <laughs> oh, from the um, show, who wants to be a superhero? Woo! Well, she was pretty good. I have no problem with that. <laughs> Bring back Evil Stan! <laughs> um, back then, I had asked a question, and you said you would take the idea back that was mentioned in it to, quote unquote, the boys in the office. And it was. Take the idea back. What idea? The idea last year for a character. For a team of superheroes with disabilities like autism and Down syndrome. And I was wondering what happened. Team of superheroes who had disabilities like autism and. Obviously, you know, when you do anything like this, excuse me, you have to get somebody to pay to print and publish it. I came up with the idea and I suggested it to a few people, but it fell on death, death ears. Nobody no. wants their finances. So at the moment, it takes nowhere. And well, it's good to know that it exists. Hmm? Thank you. We have, you can do a team, you can do one handicapped person, like Daredevil, you do it in a certain way, 
And frankly, I'm working on another character now that might be put in that category. But somehow, a whole team of them, it just seemed to scare the people who pay for these things. And I have not been able to get that idea across. Sorry. How do you feel to um, uh, see your comics turn into live action movies? Oh, you know the best thing about it? All those great directors and producers and special effects men and actors, they do all the work, and I get so much of the credit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful arrangement. <laughs> to answer your question, it feels great. It really does. I, years ago, when we were doing these characters, never in a million years would we have thought that they'd ever be on the screen. We just hope the books would sell and we keep our jobs. So it's been quite a ride for us. Uh, I just have to say, um, it is an incredible honor to be in your presence, Stan. I'm one of the many fans who grew up with your comic books, with your uh, TV shows, with the movies, everything. Um, there was one show that I actually uh, really enjoyed as much as everybody put it down. I was honestly curious if you ever planned on making a new season of Who Wants to Be a Superhero? Because yes. I'd love to be on that yes. show. No, I'm afraid that was fine. You know what happened? It didn't do that well in this country. They loved it in England. So they tried to produce it with uh, teenagers. The same idea. They called it Who Wants to Be a Superhero? but with teenagers, and it really didn't work there either, so it's been given up. But I have a new show you may have heard of called Stanley Super Humans. Yeah. I love that show. Yeah. Well. And that one looks like it's going to be a big hit. It's on the History Channel. They didn't think much of it, I think, in the first season. They didn't promote it. But then they realized it was getting great ratings. So now for the second season, which will start in the fall, they can do all kind of publicity and promotion, and I think it's going to be a, a hit show. So it'll take the place of who wants to be a superhero. Well, I just wanted to say, if you ever do decide to make a new season, I'd love to be on that show. Excelsior. <laughs> and in case you forgot, the name is Stanley Superhumans. History Channel, don't miss it, I'll be checking on it. Hi, Stan. Uh, I wanted to talk about, like, I'm a big fan of this uh, little phenomenon called Japanese anime. And, yeah, uh, you, have, and you have a, um, <clears throat> you have something for that called uh, Hero Man. Uh, I was wondering, where did you come up with the very, very original title? And um, <laughs> do you think it was a major, do you think it was a success in Japan and it got a, it got a simulcast here? Or do you think it would do other things like this? You also had a cameo on that, I think. I heard most of it, but so not what, where did I come up with the question? What do you like Just, to do you think it was, where do you come up with the name and how do you think it was a success? Which name? Hero Man. How did you come up with the name and did you think it was You do not feel that that's the most sophisticated title I've heard. <laughs> I detect that in your tone of voice. Sorry. <laughs> I thought that the Japanese persons would like the title, and apparently they did. And I was doing it for a Japanese company, so I wanted to make them happy. They liked the name Hero Man. And um, what was the other? Were you happy with how it came out? Do you think it was successful? It was successful, and we're uh, in the process now of seeing about selling it in this country, so you'll be seeing it here. But about me being happy with it, I'm never happy with anything that anybody else does. I always feel. It should have been done this way or that way. It's done very much in the Japanese style, which is a good style and it's good for the Japanese. But I, I think I would have made a few changes in it. But it's still a good show. And when it comes over here, I think I'll be able to make the changes I want so it'll be good for the uh, audience here. But they did a good job and they, they like it in Japan. Excellent. And, and you're not supposed to say, I don't know why. <laughs> I actually like this show, so. So thank you very much. Okay, and you're a great human being for ending that last phrase. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have a quick question. 
Um, I've uh, studied uh, humanities and um, uh, sociology for a long time, and I've been wondering, uh, a lot of your comics, especially like say X-Men, things like that, they, they tackle very big issues. Um, usually big issues that concern civil rights, um, the treatment of others, and things such as that. I was wondering if um, at all were those like major uh, roles in, or uh, they really, I guess, uh, surmounted or um, they built up that those, uh, those roles or those characters, uh, like um, X-Men, let's say, for that. Um, would you say that uh, civil rights or things such as that, equalities, things like that, were uh, major drives in making it? Did you use some words that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the funniest thing. I hear the voice, and I hear, could you say that there's a weird and the, and that's what it sounds like. It's this damn microphone. If somebody talks to me, not with the mic, it's clear to me, but this does something in my ears that it muffles everything. Anyway, young men are in my helmet, so. <laughs> civil rights and humanitarian issues important to the creating the Secondarily, the first thing I would ever think of is what can I write? What can I come up with that people will be interested in? What kind of superpowers can I get that people would care about? And how do I make the characters the kind of characters that a reader can relate to? Once that's established, then you say to yourself, okay, what kind of stories am I going to tell? Where can I get a good villain, which is as important or more important than the heroes? You have the great villains. And then you start to write the story, and you say to yourself, well, oh, gosh, here are these good guys, and nobody likes them, and they're really doing the best they can, but people hate them because they're different. And I thought to myself, that really reflects on society, where people hate other people because they have a different religion, or they're from a different nationality, or because a blonde hates a redhead, or who knows why, anybody who's different. And I thought that would be a good thing to play up in the series, but when I shouldn't say play up, to mention, to add in the series, but not, not hit anybody over the head with it. So I tried to make it a theme that any thinking person might be aware of it, without making it seem as though the stories are lectures. Because nobody likes to be lectured to, in fact. I can see how bored you're all getting now because I'm talking on and lecturing and I'll stop. I